welcome back to the studio Blockchangers Hackathon 2018. Um, I'm here with Lotus Bonnema. Welcome to the table, our track reporter of the machine to machine economy track. So, Laurens, yesterday we left off saying um, the M2M track wants to change the world. Uh -huh. That was basically the message. I'm sorry about this. That's I have a live phone going off uh, right now. That's all right. For we'll just I do ig ignore that for a second. <laughs> so, um, changing the world, quite the mission. Quite the mission. I mean, I think everyone wants this, but we were talking about how the M2M track actually quite combines the whole ecosystem uh, to get something done, right? Uh-huh, yep, they do. What's going on today? How are they doing? Well, most if not all teams have pivoted slightly, uh, but not pivoted to like a more, uh, not, not towards a smaller vision mm -hmm. that you might achieve on Sunday, <laughs> but towards a much, much bigger vision, like whole ecosystem rethinking. Yeah. Uh, today we even had like an hour-long ad hoc discussion with all the teams together to really, really think through the implications of a, of a worldwide machine economy. Um, all right. A complete ecosystem, so to say. And what that would mean for the global distribution of food, of waste, of like everything. Transport. Yeah. Anything you can think of that you could potentially automate and leverage uh, the blockchain for. Um, that was discussed in an hour-long discussion that um, sometimes reached great practical applications, but mostly veered off towards thousand-day visions, which is what the teams are working towards. So as opposed to some other teams here that are working on a hundred-day vision that you can like practically execute this year, uh, all our teams are working on a thousand-year, uh, not thousand-year, thousand-day vision. Yeah shouldn't upgrade the days even more. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and that's because of the, 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 the stuff that we're doing, the, the things that we're thinking about, you, you can't really uh, realistically um, get that done in 100 days. Right. Um, but what you can do, and uh, just minutes ago I spoke to uh, one of the teams uh, called Cool Runnings, mm -hmm. and they have... Um, Sounds like a good movie. <laughs> it's indeed based on that good movie. <laughs> um, and um, un unlikely champions, so to speak. That's, that's the, the, the metaphor behind that. Yeah. Um, and what they want to do is eradicate world hunger by creating a completely different system of waste management. And they're actually really close to spinning up their um, Raspberry Pi nodes to simulate exactly that world. All right. And they have managed to chunk down their problem to, okay, so let's say that we have three regions that need to interact with each other. And what would that mean with regard to the economy between those nodes? How could you automate that in such a way that you don't need money and property and stuff like that? Mm -hmm. um, and there is still trust. Um, and it still works. Exactly. And interestingly, they're aiming not just for uh, feeding the whole world, but to eliminate world hunger altogether while also eliminating all waste. Which is, those are the kinds of challenges that the teams in the machine-to-machine so -machine track are talking about. They're basically also creating a smaller version of our world so they can test out their idea right away? Yeah. Is that, yeah, that, that what was, they're working on right now? That was why they popped into my head when I, when I, when I said we were essentially making everything bigger and, and more visionary. Yeah. And then I thought, oh, but wait a second. One of the teams has actually already gone beyond that and now moved to, okay, so how are we going to simulate this in a practical, in a practical sense uh, to make sure that uh, we have something to show for, but also some simulated uh, results. Exactly. So, so they that, can actually, they have something to show. Yeah. So which is more than saying, you know what, we want to end world hunger. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, an, an actual application on, yeah. on how to uh, on how to do that. Yeah. That is um, what they're working on. That is what they're working and on. I also heard, uh, looking back, I believe this comes from your track. Uh, there is one team who's been working until four o'clock this morning. Was the last team standing, last team coding? Do you know anything about that? Um, well, sadly, I don't know anything about that oh. because I was sleeping like a oh, baby that's last night. Too bad. Uh, a I, little I, bit late, yeah. but. Not that late. Fair enough. No, I, I heard that they're very efficient as well because they take turns. 
some of them call some other track reporters call it cheating. I thought it was smart. You know, if you take they turns, take turns in uh, sleeping, sleeping exactly, yeah. <laughs> they have a, a yeah. Given a the fact that outside. some other teams take that turn all at once, <laughs> we thought it was just a smart idea. Uh, not all the teams are doing that though, because well, some people really do need their sleep, especially That's in true. a more than twenty-four hour hackathon. That's true. Um, but well. Um, our teams tend to be really into the problems that they're solving. Uh, or actually, the questions that they're thinking of even better questions to. And that, that tends to take us deep into the night. A lot of the track supporters, mm -hmm. uh, me included, stay hours longer than anticipated to facilitate the teams, but also yeah. just because it's awesome to be there and see what they're what they're talking about. Right, and if I'm not mistaken, looking slightly to my left, because that's where the M2M corner actually is, your corner has a lot of balloons, man, and a lot of golden stars already as well. Yeah, awesome, isn't it? It's great. I think it's one of the most rewarded so far, mm -hmm. isn't it? And uh, how, how are, I mean, does that work for the teams just on the practical side? I mean, I also had track well, reporters who didn't really know what the balloons stood for. It doesn't make them sad. <laughs> But indeed, yeah, they're enough. so focused on what they're doing that uh, we had to explain to them what the balloons were for. Yeah. I and they were, oh, so balloons are awesome. Yes. Balloons, balloons are good. Are, balloons stars are, are good. good. Yeah, purple and stars purple is good. Stars are for better. The win. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what are you looking forward to the most? I mean, it's uh, a little over 12 hours, I guess. Well, let's say 15 left. Um, I'm actually looking forward uh, most to uh, getting some of the data out. Mm -hmm. From the simulations that we're running, um, and maybe some, uh, uh, maybe at least one overarching article that describes the integrity of everything that uh, the totality of everything that we that we've been discussing as teams, uh, because I think it it will provide at the very least really good pointers for other teams to pick up on uh, and take this even further. Uh, is it because uh, I mean the M two M track is a track where uh, cooperation is actually quite vital. I mean, mm -hmm. as you said, you had an ad hoc discussion with all the teams about what is going on. How can one team win uh, in our uh, track? Yeah, that that may prove to be the most interesting challenge there. Yeah, because all the teams are totally rocking it. Um, some of them are really far out there. Some of them are. Um, have finally moved to really, really practical applications, and both are just great. So uh, I'm really lucky that I don't have to judge them. <laughs> that sounds like a. <laughs> I can just like enjoy what they're doing. Like you, you can enjoy the ride and yeah. uh, and write about it because your exactly. articles are online. Blockchangers.org. Yep. Um, check it out if you want to know more about the machine to machine economy track i'd like to thank you for being here with us for now you're welcome um we'll be following you speaking to you tomorrow again and uh, i'm actually really excited i think this is the most interesting track to follow for now at least concept wise because of the fact that they're all working together and working on one big ecosystem so thank you awesome i'm curious to know what what will happen with them next um, thank you very much, blockchangers.org. Um, we'll see you in uh, a little bit for some more new content.